Good evening, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice that we are seeing some rain. Highest concentration north of Roanoke towards the Highlands, southern Shenandoah, into areas south of Charlottesville, into Amherst, Nelson counties, even into northern parts of Lynchburg seeing some rain. A few more showers towards Carroll County. More rain towards North Carolina lifting to the north as we speak. Most of the real heavy rain and strong to severe thunderstorms today stay towards the Carolinas, out say towards Georgia and Tennessee. Had a peak wind gust at Atlanta's Hartsfield International Airport. Uh, in excess of 60 miles per hour earlier today, but uh, it appears as though things are drying out slowly in Atlanta. It's still raining, but the rain's not nearly as heavy as most of that rain has shifted towards Tennessee. It's raining heavily in Nashville at this hour, and we will still have the chance for some rain from the remnant moisture from Irma here over the course of the next uh, probably 20 to 22 hours or so. You will notice that the bulk of the rain on Irma's uh, system is on the north side. You head to the south south side of the system and although it's still breezy, arguably windy, there's not much rain to be had. It's been a very active weather day in areas to the south of us, no doubt. By the way, Irma is now just a tropical depression, no longer a hurricane, no longer a tropical storm. It is just now a low pressure system. Winds of 35 miles per hour, gusting up to 45 miles per hour, moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Headed towards Alabama, Tennessee, and eventually towards Kentucky. Once it gets to Bowling Green, Kentucky, it's actually going to be pushed back towards our neck of the woods. It's going to kind of be picked up by a disturbance and dragged towards the east northeast. So we are looking at uh, perhaps a drier day Wednesday and then more scattered showers will return Thursday into Friday. But you need to understand by the time we're impacted by uh, more remnant moisture from Irma late this week, it's just going to be your typical kind of weak low pressure system. It's going to kind of just be ripped apart here over the next couple of days because it's on land. It's encountering a lot of wind shear as well. Here's the latest on Jose category one hurricane with winds of 85 miles per hour, not looking as healthy as it once did, and it's not moving much right now. Northeast at six, which means it could be starting its little loop de loop, which the National Hurricane Center says will happen over the course of the next couple of days. It will then emerge from that loop de loop heading towards the west northwest, perhaps a little bit closer to the United States here as we head into late this week into this upcoming weekend as a category one hurricane. I do want to show you the spaghetti plots because this is very important. This is where all the computer models think that uh, Jose is going to go and you'll notice a vast majority of them have it eventually making that turn to the north, not getting really that close to the United States. Close for some discomfort, certainly, but it doesn't look like it's going to make any impact or landfall in the United States if these computer models come to fruition. We'll keep a very close eye on this, maybe within about 150 to 200 miles from the Outer Banks, but uh, indications are right now Jose should stay out to sea, kind of bisecting where Bermuda is from the United States. As we come back closer to home here tonight, our chance for rain will increase. Could be a little bit of a wet go of it in the morning, so I'd urge you to have your umbrella or poncho handy. The vast majority of the rain, I think, tomorrow morning at 6.37 a.m. will likely be along and south of Highway 460. Then we're going to see more rain chances around lunchtime, still dealing with some moderate to heavy rain even at dinner time into the evening. Most of the rain ends for us by late Tuesday night, and then Wednesday we'll likely see increasing sun. More sun Wednesday afternoon in comparison to Wednesday morning. We're also watching the wind. Winds. We have a wind advisor in effect until 9 a.m. Tuesday for the New River Valley and also for Mountain Empire locations. That's where we could have some uh, wind gusts in excess of 40, 50 miles per hour. We do have some wind gusts over 20 miles per hour in Withville, Hillsville, Galax, Blacksburg, and Hot Springs at this point. The winds are going to strengthen a wee bit overnight tonight. First half of tomorrow looks to be breezy, arguably windy. Second half of tomorrow will actually start to see those winds weakening just a little bit. But the first half of tomorrow could have some wind gusts 40 miles per hour, especially towards those high higher elevations into our westernmost counties. We had a daily record established today. The low maximum temperature in Roanoke was 64 degrees. That broke the old record of 65 set back in 2010. We also broke records today in Blacksburg, only getting up to 58. Also broke a record today in Danville, getting up to 65. So it was a record low maximum temperature day across many of our locations. Very cool out there. 59 in Lynchburg, 60 Martinsville, 56 in Withville. Your extended forecast. We are in the 70s Wednesday through Saturday, near 80 Sunday and Monday. Wednesday should see a little more sun. Scattered showers Thursday and Friday with hit or miss showers in the forecast still this weekend, but nothing big, nothing significant. It just looks like we're going to have uh, some hit or miss pop-up showers as we head into Saturday and Sunday.